Hello everyone and welcome to the second anime style versus video. This type of video is where I take two bladers from any series and break them down into three categories to determine who would win in a head to head. In this one I've decided to put the God of Destruction Phi up against the Wonder Boy Volt Ahoy. Of course I'm taking both bladers from the end of the Chosey or Turbo series. The battle rules are simple. The match is to go up to three points with no outside interference. With all of that out the way, let's get straight on with breaking down the first round. For this battle, I'll be giving Vault Chosey Valkyrie Zenith Evolution. This is a fourth generation turbo bay of an attack type variant. The biggest feature of this bay being its turbo blades, which activate when the optimized launch is achieved boosting its attack and defensive stats, as well as giving the bay a burst lock, which while active, makes the bay unburstable. His opponent, Phi, will be given his Dead Phoenix 10 Friction, who is also a 4th generation bay, however is a defense type. This bay uses protective armor on its layer that can be used as a weapon when removed by an opposing bay. As well as this, the bay also has a small rubber strip around the driver which it uses to launch special attacks. As bladers, Volt and Phi are both very experienced and powerful bladers. However, as seen in his battle against Iger, Phi is very overconfident, making the match a burst finish only and then dragging out the battle, which is essentially why he lost. On top of this, his overconfidence also stems back to his battles against Free, Shu, and even the three, the one versus one versus one he had with Kyle and Ranjiro, where Ranjiro actually won because Phoenix threw himself after the ring. I'm going to give this round to Volt and Valkyrie, as as a blader, Volt doesn't have any weaknesses that Fi could take advantage of, but Volt could definitely take advantage of Fi's overconfidence. The bays, however, are very very close, and if I'm honest with you. Both of them have a reason to pick one over the other. Phoenix is a very, very powerful defense type, which naturally has an advantage over Valkyrie, who is an attack type. But I think I will give the point to Valkyrie, as its insane attack power is not hindered by its first lock, which also increases its defensive power. We can scale their max powers off the battles they each had with Iger. While both ended up losing against him, Volt did get a burst, while Phi didn't. I must point out though, Valkyrie is an attack type, so it would be easier for him to get the burst over Phoenix. Also, Valkyrie's driver did wear down, or fully evolve if you will, in that battle, giving him more power and speed which Iger wasn't expecting, which then led to the burst. Though I'm hesitant to say this is a huge advantage, as Phi is a very powerful blader himself, and Phoenix's defensive power naturally directly counters Valkyrie's offensive power. But I am giving this round to Volt and Valkyrie again, as I do believe he is overall more powerful than Phi. Both bladers have a short shopping list of special moves with Volt having 5 and Phi having 7. So I'm going to try and break down each move and give a little brief description about each of them, starting with Volt. So here it goes. Rush Launch. Rush Launch is Volt's oldest move. This is a type of launch that puts Valkyrie at a steep angle, boosting his speed and enables him to barrage any bay holding the center with attacks. Turbo Wing Launch. Turbo Wing Launch is a move that I believe he adopted in Beyblade Burst Evolution, where Valkyrie rebounds off the stadium wall, gaining a boost in speed and momentum. This can be done multiple times to stack, resulting in a devastating strike. Now that I'm thinking about it, he might have got this move in the first season, I can't quite remember, so we'll just move on. Turbo Flash Launch is an awkward one, as I believe he only uses it once against Hyde and dead Hades, though he might have used it against Iger when he had Zeachilles, I'm not quite sure. I looked on the Beyblade wiki about this move and it didn't have a description, so I'm going to go ahead and make one and say that it seems Valkyrie gains a temporary boost in speed and power when it is being held in a particular area 
or pushed back. So the way I see this, he used it when dead Hades had him pinned in the center of the stadium, when he was circling around him using dread gravity. Valkyrie was able to break out of this move while using flash launch. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a counter move that Valkyrie or Vault can use when on the back foot. Turbo Valtriac Whip is a powerful strike move, focusing energy along the blade and turbo blade, resulting in a huge attack. Vault's final move is more of a passive ability called Turbo Awakening. This activates when Valkyrie has an optimized launch, resulting in the activation of the turbo blades. If you're getting tired of me talking about Valkyrie, then prepare yourself for the blanket, because Phoenix has more. Dread Crush is, the f is Phoenix's first move, and this is just a powered up basic, uh, basic smash attack. Phoenix's second move is called Dread Break. This grants Phoenix with bonus speed, allowing for a barrage of attacks or a single powered up strike. Dread Cannon is Phoenix's probably most iconic move. This is where he uses his armor as a projectile and shoots it at an opposing bay, causing the opposing bay to ring out or just take huge damage. Double Dread Cannon is a setup move from Dread Cannon. If missed or deflected, Phoenix can refire the armor with more speed and power. Note that this move also sets up Dread Cannon Crush, which is a hammer and anvil type move. This is where Phoenix sandwiches the opposing bay with itself and the armor. Note that this was the move that destroyed Spriggan and Fafnir in their battles. Diving Dread Cannon Crush is an aerial move where both the bay and armor attacks the opposing bay in the air. Note that they do not dive, they go up. Iger was already in the air and Phoenix and the armor followed him, so it is not diving, it is just an aerial move. His final move however, Final Dread Impact, is a diving move, and this is where Phoenix uses the gravity to plummet straight down, crushing the opposing bay. Right, okay, after all that, I think I'm going to have to give the round to Phi. I don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be, as I'm sure everyone has stuff to do, but simply put, Phi has more moves and the more and more versatility in those moves. Being able to attack in the air as well as on the stadium floor gives him more verticality than Vault and Valkyrie. Though Vault does have some very powerful moves of his own, I still have to give this round to Phoenix and Phi. The only intangible to mention is Valkyrie's evolution driver. As seen in his battle against Achilles, it fully wore down or evolved, which at the time gave him a huge increase in speed. While I don't think it was stated in the anime, I'm going to go ahead and say that this evolution would do the same as it did in Season 1 of Beyblade Burst, where Valkyrie's variable driver fully evolved, allowing Volt to tap into a new well of power. So, the verdict. We've established that Volt is the superior blader along with having a slight power advantage over Phi. While both, while both bays are the best in class type of their respective generation, I gave the edge to Valkyrie as his burst lock makes it much harder to burst while not doing down his insane attack power. Though Phi does have the edge in terms of versatility and variety. So after all is said and done, who do I think would have won if these two did battle in the anime. Well, it may seem like a tough matchup at first glance, but in my opinion, it's not that tough. I have to give it to Vault, and I think he would win majority of 7 out of 10 battles. Don't get me wrong, Phi is an insane blader. Not only can he say he fought bladers like Shu and Free, he beat them. How many bladers can say that? He literally destroyed Spriggan and Fafnir, so it's not surprising he's so overconfident. That being said, I don't see him doing the same with Vault and Valkyrie. Phi was confident about taking on Vault in episode 47 after destroying Spriggan, which as we all know, he would then go on to accept the challenge with Iger and then lose. After this, as I've said, Valkyrie would evolve and gain more power. So in this hypothetical battle, Phi would be taking on a stronger vault that he was already confident about versing before. 
Even if I said that Volt didn't pass the battle over to Iger in episode 47, meaning that it would be him taking on Fi in episode 49 and 50, Valkyrie would still evolve in this battle. So, wherever you want to place this battle, Volt will gain or has already gained a power boost. What I'm basically saying is that Fi was confident he could beat Volt in episode 47. He didn't verse Volt, however. Volt then proceeded to gain a power boost. This power boost, on top of already being a little bit stronger than Fi, would give him a comfortable edge in terms of power. The biggest reason why Fi would lose, however, is the way he blades. He would want to destroy Valkyrie, which I don't think he will be powerful enough to do, as he couldn't do it to Achilles. If he didn't have an obsession with breaking bays, he would have a much better chance of winning, as a, as a lot of his moves send the enemy opposing Bay flying, getting a lot of ring outs, and potentially I see him getting a survivor finish as well. But as it stands, I see the match most likely ending 3-1 to one to Vault. That about wraps up this video, but what do you think? Am I underestimating Fi? Do you think he will be able to reverse Valkyrie's Turbo Awakening? If you liked this one, Remember to like the video and maybe even subscribe to my channel. I've been getting some really good support lately and it makes and it really makes me want to keep making videos. So thank you to those who leave really good comments. And I'll hopefully see everyone in the next video.